citizens of the internet, this is of course Richard, and today I bring you another episode on the OmniSlab server. Uh, here we are, uh, I have... Um, Hello. I, 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 I've actually done very little, but I've watched Dino um, as he's put together this uh, rail line with the resources that I do not have. Um, and we're going to try and... Yeah, there we go. Okay. We're going to move this villager. Uh, we're going to move the two villagers that we have trapped here. Uh, there's the other guy right there. Um, do we have... Uh, I'm going to go uh, ender chest. I'm going to go get... You got this? Do you got the villager? I'm going to go get yeah, some sure. iron from my ender chest. Figure this out. Um, so we're going to cool. move this guy into the villager breeder because it is doing nothing. <laughs> it is going to Knock him out of his minecart before you push him in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Skype. Awesome. Yay, Skype. All right. Okay, cool. Three guys in there now. Hopefully that should accelerate the process at least a bit. Uh, we'll get one more guy yet uh, in there, and so hopefully that should jump start it a bit, and maybe we will see some more villagers. Uh, that's really kind of holding the server up because we are waiting on villagers not only for trading but also for the iron golem farm which dino has continued work on i'm not sure where i showed it last but as yeah. you can see progress has been made he's using the iron foundry design uh by tango tech which i will link in the description uh it's an amazing design uh which basically is 44 times as efficient as it's, the it's design 11 that times had. as efficient as the design before because the design before had four villages while this one has 44 yeah it's downright it's incredible it's a lot of show them all the doors show yeah them okay the okay let me let me let me let me let me quickly head over to oh yeah and we've caught another villager zombie there which we can cure at some point i can do it right now uh, but um, um where my golden apples? Well, no go? gigantic, no gigantic hurry. If you golden apples, I mean, would you go golden apples? Right, whatever. Uh, but apple. yeah, he's building the damn thing inside a gigantic bloody tree, which is going to be awesome. Um, and as you can see, that's the wrong chest. But yeah, there are a whole bunch of doors here. A downright incredible amount of doors. Thoroughly preponderous number of doors. And just um, to be just to be clear here, I don't know if that's enough doors. Yeah. It, have you actually done out the math or anything? Uh, it's, we need a lot. It's definitely true that there are going to be. So a I've lot made that many, and required. then the rest I'm going to make as I go. Because um, I have the resources um, to make more. But yeah, so those those platforms up there will be basically covered in doors, uh, and this is actually a very complex, um, or a very a very compact and very comparatively pretty simple actually uh, design compared to say for example the iron trench. Uh, but this one stacks a whole bunch of villagers. Uh, villagers. villagers. Well, it it does it it does stack villagers as well. But uh, it stacks a whole bunch of villages inside. Like each of those villages. Uh, the villages. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a new type of music. Um, it stacks like basically each one of those little lines there is its own village, and um, so that that ends up coming out to forty four villages. Um, each one of those villages will be spawning golems at a rate of, I think, one every five minutes or so. That ends up producing... 1,700 iron per, per hour. hour. <laughs> that is, is the equivalent of a whole lot of iron blocks. Let's just calculate this real quick. Yeah. Okay, so we have 1,700 divided by 9. 188 iron blocks per hour. That's That's a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So this will this will safe to say uh, satisfy our iron needs for a good while to come. As you can see, we've started laying in the storage system underneath. That was mostly my doing. Uh, yes. And then right here we'll go the um, timer setup uh, with a uh, Nether portal. Um, genius goes to the ge the genius behind that is of course that of Panda, the human um, bug detector, and. <laughs> and um, probably, you know, the rest of the guys on the Zip Crowd server because they are downright incredible geniuses. Um, but yes, basically the general idea is it's on a clock, it loops um, the items, uh, roses, from the Iron Golem farm itself through another portal and uh, basically pops one through roughly every 45 seconds. 
in order to keep the chunks loaded at all times so that the entities always process, the villages always are loaded and don't collapse, and that kind of thing. Because if it did collapse, that's a lot of work that will have gone to waste because it will just be if one massive If it collapses, I'm village. blaming Perp. Uh, <laughs> Not, well, but, so. yeah, I'm blaming him. Oh, and, and the roads, the roads, you, you can see the roads. I've made a bunch of progress with uh, the roads through here. Uh, as you can see, I've also added pots and all kinds of cool little... And hoppers as accents. Um, what, are, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hop hoppers as well. The hoppers um, are through here and so forth as well uh, for the purpose of chunk loading. Not only that thing, which is absolutely essential and crucial that it be chunk loaded at all times, because otherwise, again, the villages will collapse and bad things will happen, but also we were chunk loading the villager breeder over there in hopes of getting villagers breeding more quickly. If it's loaded all the time, theoretically, hopefully it would be, um, you know, more efficient and more likely to produce more villagers, but unfortunately that hasn't been the case. So, thank you Skype. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fool around with adding more villagers and see where that gets us. So, um, where are you at, Dino? What, what, what's I going am on in my now? tree getting another hopper to fully and officially load the villager breeder. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's definitely good. Oh, place to uh, we can oh, not in get that okay. going. Um, is there anything else that I forgot to mention? Oh, um, just now, uh, the guys, that is to say... Dino, Perplus, anybody else? Was there anyone else? It was just Dino and Perplus. Because okay, okay. everyone just, just else was on vacation. Um, everybody else is gone. <laughs> um, They're all on vacation. Yeah, I, I haven't filled these pots in yet, but I will. Uh, with more of the same sorts go of the random trees. Mostly you can share them, the wonders that are oak. The, things that um, the occasional... Uh, so most, guys, while well, well, Richard and, and them were gone, we actually made an infinite diamond generator. Oh god. Again with now, that. Um, eventually it'll be a thing. I'm just leading them on to think it's not a thing. Right. Uh, any, anyway, um, so as you can see it would appear that Wreckbilly has set up his um, vertical travel system into this, um, uh, this portal. Um, I encourage you to check out his video on that uh, because that's what I'm pretty sure this is. Um, yeah. I'll put a link in the description and so forth to that. I'm not going to try and explain it right now because it is kind of complicated. Uh, oh, and the Blaze Farm. The Blaze Farm is awesome. It's actually really close by, surprisingly close. Nobody really realized how close to the portal it was, but it's actually right over here. The path through the Nether Fortress actually sort of goes way all the way around and you kind of lose track of where you are, but it ends up the this right here is where it comes out. Uh, and this area looks pretty nice. Uh, Blaze will come down right there, sit nicely in place, and wait for you to uh, press the button, activate the crusher, and then uh, one-hit kill them and so forth. Uh, spawning area right up there. This is the area that they fall down in and eventually uh, end up down there to be taken care of and dispatched and things. Oh, this sword is a gift from Dino as well, by the way. Uh, but So this is very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, slightly better uh, experience system. Uh, and this is it's a lot very better. nice over here it's as well. very, very nice. So that should be very good. Um, look forward to using that at some point when I've actually got something to What enchant. do you think of the aesthetics? Um, I think it works. I think it works pretty well. Um, obviously, it isn't totally finished. and uh, No, they never actually there for... Decoration. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> um, but this ladder goes up. I think I did it off camera. Um, and this uh, area here is open exposed nether that uh, Mr. Economist helpfully sort of shielded off a bit uh, because ghasts kept destroying the ladder, as ghasts are wont to do. Um, but this goes straight up. I hollowed this hole out straight down from up there down to the spawn portal area. Um, and this is, of course, the hole that I cut through bedrock last episode? Yeah, I think it'll be last episode, because I have recorded bloody nothing recently. Um, then over this way is that thing over there. 
But on the other hand, where, where where was it? Where was it? I think it was over here. I think it was this direction. Which direction was it? Um, the which? Oh which yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, it's right there. Um, so directly this way from that thing is uh, over over here, op opposite the the, the 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 tree farm thing 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 thing. thing. Um, we've got this very slightly oblong portal, which ends up leading directly. Boop doop 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 doop. If I can go through here quickly, quickly, come on, come on, come Leads on. to the diamond generator. Yes, um, it goes right to here, um, which is of course the stronghold and the portal. Uh, I was not present for the quest to find it. That just happened, I guess, just you know, like a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but whatever. Um, it's okay, and we will hopefully all be able to be present for the fighting of the dragon, or at least as many of us as possible. Um, and they did, as you can see, take out the Silverfish spawner. <laughs> that was perp. I am uh, not a they. He is a perp. And I, I, I have it on video. Not totally happy. Proof. Anyway, anyway. Um, so let's see. What am I doing now? What am I doing? I guess I'll just come right back through. This does, in fact, link back up to the spawn portal, uh, which is simultaneously quite convenient and very inconvenient potentially uh, but one way or another we'll get that figured out and we'll be able to uh, get that going properly uh, but back here is there anything else that I haven't shown that's um, CDFD man's hopefully incredibly temporary uh, <laughs> current residence um, what just oh Archer hello Archer please please don't Please stop. Archie, Need a bow? Please. I have an extra bow. Probably. Okay. I'm no. I'm good. I'm good. The sword is serving me well. Um. Yeah. So. What do you think of my viewing platform? I just hastily constructed on top of the mound. Oh. Whoa. 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 What is that? That is no. That is. That is very no. Um. Definitely could use good. some work and yep. some. Yep. It's confused. It's dead. This isn't bad. It, it isn't bad. Um, I think we should probably work with something other than the um, fence posts, just because they do obstruct a little bit of the view. I'm not sure. Ooh, we can, I, idea. We can idea. Fool around. Glass panes. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but we can fool around with that. Uh, so forth and so on. Uh, th yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, and I also definitely want to look, make it look good from, you know, over here as well. And it kind of looks a little bit out of place. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is, of course, going away. <laughs> this is highly temporary. Good lord! There are all kinds of things spawning up there. That is not, that is oh, not safe. That is very not safe. I thought it would work. Huh? I what? thought the glass panes would work and connect to the walls. Oh, nope. no, 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 no. No, they nope. don't, I'm afraid. No. Uh, but That's so... That's better. That is much better. Actually, I like that. Yeah. The path isn't totally done, but it's at least partially done. Uh, and it, enough is done to sort of give an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, so if anybody has any recommendations or so forth, uh, or suggestions or thoughts or comments, uh, that would be awesome and very much appreciated. Also, if I may interrupt, oh, um, just trying to get this out to the majority of the people who watch Omni Slabs. If you want to come back up here to the farm building, need to drop something off to grab that iron. Zombie just dropped iron for me, which makes Ooh, me happy. Nice, not bad, not bad. Um, but. random chest, random nonsense chest. Oof. Uh, Fell off. So you had you had back. I'm waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the mesa is where all the things spawn, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> we still have yet to properly light the place up. Um, it's right now it just lit, serves as a mob farm. But it's really kind of a problem. Uh, well, it sort of shows that we've done. lit up a lot of stuff. Yeah, it, it, it indicates that we've got a bunch of caves lit up, which is good. It's definitely good. But where are you? Where are you? What are you? Uh, okay. I'm in a hole. Okay. There, there. I'm up here. Um, uh, all this sandstone here is going to be replaced sooner or later with a more um, aesthetic sort of thing, like something like what I did down there. I'm thinking I'm going to try and do all the way around wherever there's sort of elevated bits here. 
all of that up there is going to be terraformed. Oh, crap. Uh, so oh, no. Oh, I'm no. Gonna... Where is he going? I can't tell where he's going. Isn't it behind? He's behind you. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to terraform all. Whoa, good lord! I don't know what just happened, but he's what going the, everywhere. What is going on? I think he's on fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fire but so I'm going to terraform this into where, a nice cliff face, connect that up, and then terraform this also. It's sort of smooth landscape. Uh, connecting up to the side here. Uh, and probably fill all this in or something so that it Should isn't a shelter. giant mob magnet or anything like that. Um, I think he's gone. Do, 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 do. That's pretty much what I've been doing, I think. Um, this episode, I'm, I've am i actually used a whole lot of time uh, just talking. Yep. But, so, um, if you come up um, to the cop here, I was going to... I... Go, what, 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 what do you... What do you... What? Huh? I wanted to ask... I'm trying to get all the viewers who watch Omni Slabs to answer, but... Okay, what what, what do you want the answer to? The farm to? building. Oh, the farm building. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Farm building. So, indeed. in this current state, I can build it and make it look cool, but it won't be automatic. Or, I can tear the whole thing down. I have silk touch, so the glass won't be going to waste. Hmm. And redesign the thing. And make it all automatic harvest. Now, um... I'm wondering, I might be able to work with you to integrate automatic farming into this Mahongus thing. I feel like it could definitely work. Automatic farms tend to actually be smaller than manual farms in general. Um, and if we want bulk, I think gigantic what we could do is we could have a giant included. spiral of farms and one mm. water source. <laughs> Lens style. Mm. I, I like the way you you and Zisto think. Yes. Um, yeah, no, that, that might be cool. It definitely might be cool. And, um, no, just have, re re that. replace the staircase, right? We'll have a staircase on the side of the staircase. But the main staircase will actually be all farmland. Hmm, okay, okay. Yeah, I could work. I could work with that. Um, and one, one way or another, uh, we can definitely... I, I like the idea of having automatic farms in this building that... Um, and then below Should is the trees. There. Below is all trees. Mm, mm, that's good. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing yeah. is, for those giant double tall spruce trees, I'm gonna have to dig down very far. <laughs> That'll be a challenge. But yeah, it won't be that hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll it. be cool. Yeah, it should be neat. Might just have a different layer altogether for double trees. But we whether you do it in here or not, um, I definitely want to have a building that is incorporates as many fully automatic farms as I possibly can. Uh, because I love that kind of thing, and just have an automatic, constant stream of items flowing through a central vertical tube. I, I, I think that's Vertical really tube. Cool. <laughs> it's vertical we can do tube. that. We can still do that. If, if we have a spiral thing, we can do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, like, if, if you want to do it in this building, that, that might be the really cool. The only thing is... Have a spiral, uh, the only um, thing I'm sort of worried about is having just... people replant it, and having everything planted at the same time, so when you harvest it, you get everything back. Hmm. Well, the fully automatic farms would be cool to do with the tube. The, anything that's even semi-manual would probably be more inconvenient than anything else uh, if we're routing items elsewhere, uh, because presumably you're going to need the stuff to replant. Uh, we can figure out logistics about that later, I imagine, uh, and sort that out, maybe work together on proceeding, perhaps? Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll do it on see. the um, test server that we have now. Um, but anyway, one way or another we can... Uh, yeah, indeed. Um, is there a way to stop this ice from generating? Probably. Um, glowstone yeah, it, well, glowstone would work theoretically, but the more reliable solution would just be to put um, something above it. Uh, put some kind of roof over this. Uh, and actually, very long term, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I do kind of want to like line out a circle all the way around all this everything around here everywhere and then make a gigantic ornate dome of glass that like incorporating some stained glass pictures patterns all kinds of crazy amazing stuff um, you can have a giant dinosaur properly yeah definitely at some point yeah, so I'm we're sure, going to sure, cover sure, the sure. entire spawn thing a giant glass dome with, with with pictures and patterns and all kinds of things. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. And I think it'll look really cool, and it'll be nice because we won't have to worry about bloody snow, we won't have to worry about ice, 
Um, I think so be much. Really nice. We're gonna go, but and find um, a giant desert. Then yeah. we're gonna go yeah. after, fa- after we harvest that giant desert. We're gonna go find another giant desert. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And another oh, one. Yeah. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be in a while, and it's gonna take a whole long time. But I think it'll be worth it, and it'll be very cool. It'll be very neat. Um, it'll have to be way up, and it'll have to be. I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, 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 we'll yeah. That's long term, long long sort of future sorts of plans. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, how how big this uh, time's just gonna be on the the hills, the extreme. Pretty much. Okay. I, it's gonna be just a say, circle. If you want to go over like, the entire world, there's thing. a 256 block limit we have to adhere to. Yeah. Plus, up yeah. there is pretty much five blocks away from that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, probably it'll come up from like some point along I, I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll figure maybe, it out and it might need to be sort of a squash surface. dome like an ovoid sort of ovoid? flattened dome ovoid. Okay. but we can I don't know we'll we'll, we'll yeah <laughs> so yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna actually end recording right now uh, check to see how much time I'm gonna have left in the episode to even work with after explaining all this stuff describing all these things and talking about all these so, accomplishments Richard, and what's all your this estimated so time of deletion for um, this cobblestone thing? We don't have there a villager in there anymore. Now that there is not a villager in there, it can be torn down as lo- it, well, except for the wall that is restraining this villager and that zombie. So that'll be that'll be very nice to have this out of here because it is definitely an eyesore. I know it. I know it. It's been there for so long. The only reason it's been there is because more seconds, there was a... I can have it torn down completely. Okay. Okay. I'm 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 still recording. But yeah, um, I will. I will oh, stop. Crap. I, I oh, will crap. stop. No, no, don't, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't. No, what are you? Oh, no. no, 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 no. I got it. It's okay. We're good. We're good. He's safe. He's safe. Yes. Don't, don't, don't kill the proto villager. <laughs> Do I have a torch? I don't think I have a torch. We're gonna need to light up. Oh, we're gonna need to light up both things. Zombie could actually spawn in with the villager. That would be bad. Do you have a torch? Do you have? Do you have two torches? You should have two torches. You floor. should have just picked them up. Okay, very good. All right, um, so I'll light these guys up so that nothing bad happens. Good. Boop. And boop. Is he still there? there? Yay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I saved um, him. So this is this is on its way towards being gone. We're going to uh, go ahead and move this guy in there. And then move the you want to do that now? zombie I over there. I, th- I think, yeah, we, we, we may as well do that now. Okay. But I will go ahead and stop recording and bring you guys back when we have gotten that done, if I have more time in the episode. And otherwise, I guess I will check you guys later. Thanks for watching the video. Much more to come. Keep watching. Cool stuff on its way. So forth and so on. Richard out. Bye, Richard. Okay. What does, he, what does he got? We, we cured the, la- we cured the last guy. We, 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 got, we got these guys in. Paper. We cured the last guy. Um, now, I'm actually kind of curious. He was holding wood. Did he Did he drop the wood? No. Interesting. Yep. So you can lose items that way. That sucks. <laughs> All right, well. Very nice, very nice. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? What, what are you, you doing? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? I did nothing. It was wrecked. Let's... Obviously. All right, so dang it, wreck. So this guy can be on his way. Added to the population of the villager breeder, which is now up to five with the addition of this guy, uh, which Yay. is very nice. Hopefully, it will be jump started. But I think that's all that I wanted to do for this episode, or at least all that I will be able to do because I don't really have much time to do much else. Uh, so I will tackle something bigger next episode. But this episode was mostly recap, which is fine. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. More content, more things on Omni Slabs, plenty of stuff to do. It's gonna be awesome. Check you guys later. Bye bye.